Hey everyone, uh, before I get into the video, I want to remind you to enter our Animal Crossing New Horizons giveaway. We're giving away a digital code, a uh, North American one, but because the Switch is region free, it can be used worldwide. To enter, all you gotta do is subscribe to the channel, like this video, leave a comment down below. Alright, so we're going to talk about a Nintendo Direct rumor, and this time we're not really going to talk about, oh, the Direct is coming this week, it's coming next week. Those are like the more traditional Direct rumors, you know, it's, oh, here's when it's coming, or here's some random 4chan post with a whole bunch of uh, game listings that are just going to make an appearance in this Direct, and they're almost always fake. Uh, you, every now and then you get like someone, you know, an actual insider who, who knows or an occasional 4chan post that actually is 100% spot on, but because it's all anonymous, how do you know who's who, who's posting what, but uh, this is a little different. This comes, well, I say a little different because it's not a traditional uh, leak post, although it does contain some games, but it's only like a part of the direct if it makes sense, uh, we'll get into the, it, it comes from Reset Era. Now, I'm just going to start there. If you don't like Reset Era, it's fine. Reset Era uh, does have a history of, of leaking some things. But this particular user on Reset Era uh, isn't exactly um, known. This is like his first post he's ever made, but he's been a member there for a little bit. And everyone does have to be manually approved. So as much as I might be banned there because I didn't agree with some of their stances on certain YouTubers or certain this or that, um, it doesn't mean that I think there isn't some good people there, uh, and who knows, maybe this is someone, um, and it's someone who's not a native English speaker, so it's going to it's gonna sound kind of broken up when I read the post. But let's just get into it, because if you can't tell, I'm wearing my Zelda hat, so there's clearly some Zelda news in here, um, potential Zelda news. Obviously, with any rumor or leak or, or anything like that, big spoiler, potential spoiler warning, if any of this is true, spoiler, spoiler, spoiler. Um, just on the information you're going to hear about the games. Uh, but let's let's just get into it. All right, so it was supposed to buy uh, Boca or Bochica or whatever. Um, and it says, hello, everyone. First of all, I'd like to say sorry if my English isn't good. It is not my native language. I'd like to introduce myself. I am Bochica. And even though I've had a account here from the beginning of the year, I never decided to post. Actually, I had some little infos about previous directs. I'm assuming these individual game directs. But as these were not particularly interesting, I never posted them. I know that rumors and fake leaks are going well recently, as everyone is impatient, even more about Zelda. To you, probably referencing that old Zelda rumor about the name of the game and stuff. Uh, to you, I will only be another one random claims having exclusive informations. Uh, to be honest, a friend of me, he, he means mine, <laughs> is working on European localizations of Nintendo live streams for some time already. For obvious reasons, I won't say where, and since when he is employed, we met at the end of the week and have talked about Zelda. The team in charge of editing would have finished last week, which means the presentation is happening soon. There's usually at max 10 days before diffusion, so I mean, I think it means 10 days before deployment. Basically, it means uh, direct coming this week or next week. You know, it's kind of like a two-week window. Uh, my friend won't work on all of the presentation. The tasks are being shared among different editors. Uh, there would be more info about uh, Xenoblade Chronicles, I believe. That's what XC means anyways. Uh, who'd propose online functionalities in which we get two new regions to explore for release late May. I don't know if that's definitive edition or if they're talking about uh, you know DLC for Xenoblade Chronicles 2. I don't know. It's not really that specific, but I mean, more Xenoblade Chronicles content for whatever game is really good. Uh, Super Metroid would be part of it with only the date of 2020. There probably won't be a Prime Trilogy announced during this Direct. It is possible that the announcement of the Trilogy figures in a different part of the Direct, uh, but before letting you expect anything, it would be strange to set it apart from the remake, hence it's not like they happen. This is just someone giving their speculation, or at least what the person they talked to supposedly is speculation. Obviously, this isn't evidence. Metro Prime Trilogy could be in it, could not be in it, uh, but Super Metroid um, is in it, according to this person. Uh, as my friend and I are both big Zelda fans, he didn't skip the chance to detail me the teaser from the sequel, which is supposed to be revealed in this presentation. I don't know where all those recent leakers have found their information. Again, talking about the that, that you know, anyway, we did a whole video on it if you want to know. But nothing of the sort would actually appear in this short trailer. So nothing like what was described. According to my friend, we would see one by one all the different peoples of the game after the victory. Already known towns and villages would be quite the same without visible changes, except for Hateno Village, uh, which would be way bigger and have more inhabitants. Everywhere in the field would be built tiny houses inhabited by farmers. 
as he told this to me, I immediately had the picture of 2014. So yeah, so so whatever teaser from uh, way back in the day when we saw that that village and the farm and all that. He explained to me that the trailer was speeding eventually at the end, where an earthquake would disturb the peace of the different peoples. Something would come to hide the sun, and every descendant of the champions, each one of their town, would look up at the same time, searching for the reason of the darkening. Hyrule Castle would be lifted into the air. Again, this is something that you could, you know, see in the in the first trailer. In parallel of the first teaser at E3, a series of similar pictures would come to end it. The only moments where we would actually see Link in Zelda. No title was indicated, only Holiday 2020. He also told me of Ori, so in Ori in the Blind Forest, and uh, Mass Effect specifically, because he was supposed to see those announced during the lineup spotlight at the end. That's honestly all I have to give you. Thanks for reading. Don't know if it's the place to share this. Sorry if it's not the case. And this is in a Nintendo Direct thread, um, little hype thread they have going on here, scrolling up, uh, Nintendo Direct speculation, blah, blah, blah. So that's what we have. Um, again, very interesting stuff. Uh, more believable probably than the original Breath of the Wild uh, 2 rumors. Uh, so that's that that's good in hindsight. It definitely sounds, uh, the Breath of the Wild stuff is kind of what I'm focusing on because that's what, it, it sounds believable. Um, it, it sounds like something Nintendo would do. Uh, it sounds like something uh, that would make sense for a sequel, a true sequel. So I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Obviously, uh, in, in you know after the ending of the events, of Breath of the Wild, it would make sense for the whole world to start to be inhabited, for farms to pop back up, all that stuff, um, and then obviously some event happens. Um, that that I, I think that's fair. Uh, honestly, I like this leak. Um, out of all of the direct leaks I have seen, this one seems one of the most plausible because uh, it's not it's not too crazy. You know, I'm I'm looking at it here. Uh, you know, you got. You know what? What uh, the Super Metroid? I mean, that's been a, a rumor from before. So I mean, that wouldn't be you know entirely entirely shocking. Um, you know, something with Ori and Mass Effect. I mean, uh, Mass Effect. You know, the, we have the trilogy. Uh, I believe on uh, we use. So I guess it wouldn't be shocking to see that come over. Uh, it would be a little more shocking to see Andromeda or something come to Switch. But okay, I mean. Maybe they had someone porting it that you know, an Ori that you know, something Ori or the new Ori game. Uh, that that's not surprising. Um, so I, you know, the the Breath of the Wild two details are obviously uh, the the big thing in this leak. Um, you know, and, and it coming within ten days or whatever. So this week or next week, I I just don't. It, it's hard to know who to believe and who to trust. So. I, to get into the believability of this rumor is just going to come down to personal opinion. This is the first time this person's posted anything. It's just another rando on a forum. Even though it's a forum that has a history of leaks, it's still kind of, you know, just because the forum has a history of leaks, this guy doesn't. And if this leak isn't true, he's going to get banned. So that's another thing that happens at this forum. You don't just get to stick around if you're posting misinformation. Uh, so he is, you know, putting his account at risk. But, you know, is it really that great of a loss to be banned at Reset Era? I don't think so. Um, I definitely don't miss the place that much. But I will say uh, that it sounds believable. And if it sounds believable, then it's probably not true. <laughs> <laughs> um, but hey, you know what? I'll give it a little credence. I'm a huge Zelda fan. I want more Breath of the Wild 2 stuff. Um, as awesome as, oh, where is it? As awesome as, you know, Link's Awakening will be, um, once I get into it here. And, you know, even though I played it when I was a kid, it was my first ever Zelda game, to be honest. Or Breath of the Wild was. Um, I I'm very excited for Breath of the Wild 2. Uh, you guys saw, I mean, heck, if you don't believe how excited I am, um, just go back and look at my reaction to when it was announced. I was, I was freaking out. Um, so, I don't know. You guys let me know what you think about this down in the comments below. I, I honestly um, don't have a lot of thoughts on this leak other than I kind of hope it's true. I like this. This concept for Breath of the Wild 2, I like. This idea that, um, you know, the world's been built out. Something happens. Um, all the major people, you know, from the champion villages are looking up. You know, the sun is blocked out. Um, I like this. This is a really cool concept, at least the beginning concept of a trailer. Um the whole speeding through things, I'm really interested in that part because I like breaking down some of the trailers. So being able to slow down the sped up part to catch the little the little tiny details in between is going to be a lot of fun. Uh, going frame by frame and all that. It's I, I can't wait. Uh, I hope this is true. I mean, I think the biggest reason I hope it's true is because Breath of the Wild 2, holiday 2020. I mean, that's that's what I I think is what we all want. We would love to have Breath of the Wild 2 this holiday. Uh, but... Uh, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna get my hopes too high here. I'm still not. I'm still expecting, you know, sometime in 2021. Uh, but I'm gonna hold out hope. 
Uh, and any leak that, that says this is, is going to get me hyped. So I have a little bias to, to liking this leak. But you guys let me know what you think about this concept for Breath of the Wild for the trailer. Uh, what do you think about the other announcements as well with Mass Effect, Ori, Super Metroid, etc. Um, let me know what you think. I, I, I honestly, you know, don't believe this. Um, but it's fun to talk about, isn't it? It's fun to just be hyped. Um, I don't even know if we're getting a Nintendo Direct this month, but uh, that's all right to be hyped. Who, who, who doesn't want to be hyped about video games? So uh, let's get hyped. All right, folks. I'm Thunder Rover Jams from the Center Prime. Remember to enter that contest. You need to like the video, leave a comment below, subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch all of you guys in the next video.